Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how we can customize the layout of the variable product and make it look better than the default layout of the variable product. So let's say this is the default layout of the variable product. Here you will see the different options for the variations of this product. And here you can select one of them from the drop down list. Now we are going to customize and we are going to install a free plugin which will make it look better than this one. Let me show you the example. Here you will see, you can see the actual colors instead of this drop down list. So if I click on this one here, you will see the green color. Here you will see the orange color. If you do not want color, you can also select the radio button instead of this. So instead of this drop down select list you can also select the radio buttons so this layout definitely look much better than the default layout of the variable products so let's see how we can install the free variation swatches plugin for woocommerce and change the layout of the variable product do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this dummy website. We will install a free variation swatches plugin for the WooCommerce. This plugin will be mostly used for the variable products to customize the layout of the variable product. So first we are going to create a variable product. We will add some variations for the product and after that we will install the free plugin and customize the layout of the variable product. Now this is one of the product. This is a simple product. Let me show you the product first. How does this look? So this is a simple product. Price is 250 rupees. Now we are going to create variations for this product. So variations will be like colors and the size of the product. So we are going to create three different colors for this product and three different sizes. And this variation will be used globally for other products also so let's go to products and here i go to attributes so first of all we are going to create attributes the color and the size attribute so create a first one color slug will be color in small case and click on add attribute now here we are going to add some different colors so click on configure terms and the first color will be let's say blue slug will get automatically you can simply type in blue and it will get this slug automatically the other one will be orange and let's say green so we are going to add three different colors for this attribute let's go back to attributes again so this was the color attribute with three terms now let's add a new one that will be size so this is the second attribute and go to configure terms and the name will be let's say small small size so medium and let's say large so you can add as many attributes uh, you want so i'm going to use three different variations here okay so now we have got two different attributes color and size now let's go back to the products all products and we are going to let's say use this one the blue one and we are going to make this product variable so right now it is a simple product so select variable product and go to attributes now here you will see different attributes that we have created for the global so this is the color select this option used for variation and from here select the colors blue orange and the green color that we have already entered save attributes select the other one size click add and select the size small medium and large Okay, so these are the three sizes click on used for variations and click on save attributes so we have used two attributes for this product go to variations now here 
click on select the option create variations from all attributes so we have attribute added two attributes click on go and it will create the variations automatically it says nine variations added click ok so these are the nine different variations you will need to assign price for these variations according to the size and color you can change the price of each product if you want to add image you can also add the image okay, i'm going to keep the same price for all the products let's say this one is a blue one so i'm going to select the blue image it is selected as blue the second one is blue medium so keep the blue image price 250 third one is also blue the next one is green price same all right so we have added the price and the images for these variations click save changes and click on update all right now let's view the product so this is the variable product from here you will see color and size so this is the default layout of the variations so it's so this is just a drop down so you can see that these are the related products it is showing here now we are going to customize the layout of the variations so it will look nice so let's go to the plugins we are going to install a new free plugin click on add new and click on variation swatches for woocommerce so here you will see many different free plugins that you can use i'm going to use this one variation swatches for woocommerce so click on install now click on activate So the plugin has been activated now let's go to the products and then go to attributes so this is the first one the color so click on edit now we are going to change the type of the color so right now it shows only the drop down and we want to show the colors instead of the drop down here you will see different options for the type color image button or radio so instead of showing the drop down you can show the actual colors for the variation so select color so using this free plugin you will be able to add four different types color image button and radio so in this example we are going to use two different types the first one will be color and the second one will be radio so select color for the color attribute and click on update let's go back to attributes so this is the color click on configure terms so this is the blue so click on the edit and here we will select the blue color you can select the color according to your product requirement back to color attributes let's go to the green click on edit and select the green color go to orange and select the color update all right so back to color attribute so we have got three different colors here now let's go back to the attributes and then we will change the size we want edit for this one we are going to select a radio and click on update now let's go back to attributes again and click on configure terms so here you do not need to make any changes because we are using a radio type so it will not show anything here 
So let's go back to the products. So this is the product. Let's refresh it. And now you will see the color. So instead of drop down, you will see the different colors here. And from here, they can select the product. So if I change it to green and size from this radio button. So here you will see the change in the color. All right, now here in this template, it shows the variations at this place and we can also remove the related products from here. All right, so I have just removed the related product section from here. Let's refresh it. Now here you will see the color swatches properly, the variation swatches properly. So if I select green, you will see the green color here, orange, you can select the size from here. So this is how you can use the free plugin to create the variation swatches in WooCommerce website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.